your left here, Steve, and then it's just up on the left-hand side. Well, we've got the solid gift of uh, Sir George. What's that, a big ass, is it? Yeah. It's a long track cap over the pantry. That's what it's all about. In there? Yeah. Is it open? Yeah. Welcome back, everyone. Today or yesterday we made the trip down in the motorhome with Jeffrey from Old American Iron and Dave from Old Rigs Down Under. So Jeffrey's come all the way from Wisconsin to pull some parts off this thing. <laughs> here they both are here. Is there one behind here? Well then there's six I think. Because I'm working on another one on the back side. So This is a white A4T 1600. You've probably seen it on Dave's channel before. He'll explain a bit about it in a minute. It's got water in the supercharger. It's got a one, well, I don't know what it is. Supercharged Cummins in it. I'd imagine a 180, but I'm not sure. It's got water in the blower. Jeffrey's just pulling the inlet off it to drain that water out. I think that's all we're doing at the moment. Dave's putting another fuel pump on it because the last time you started up it ran away. Not overly sure why it did that. But... Still not sure. What do you think is going to happen this time, mate? <clears throat> well, hopefully it doesn't run away. I'd just like to see it idle. <laughs> Jeez. Something we just take for granted, isn't it? How you going with it, Jeffrey? I loosen every bolt I can find down here and it's still a wiggle. Where we get the oxy? It is moving, but it's, yeah, it's... Yeah, you, subscriber, right? I'll have a look at it. And Jeffrey's got one, a new one. Ah, oh, shit. No, I can't get the socket off. Oh. No, you dropped the ratchet, but it's there again. I thought it was an 860. Oh, you know, sorry, I took you. Oh. Catch short of that. So I wasn't the first one. Oh, the water out of that? Yep. yep. And are those bolts back in? No. Alright. Oh, I didn't think you'd mind if they were a little loose for a while. <laughs> no, I, right. I can do them back up if you like. Um, you gonna you gonna hook all that up, Dave, or just see if it goes? No, 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 I'll just leave it all alone. I might just get some brake clean or something and just spray it in there, put, put some petrol in there just so it dries it up a bit. Yeah. And like it lavin. It's not gonna be going straight over the engine straight away, so it's not as if it's gonna run on or anything because of that. Might be better off leaving it like that to drip out, you think, or Um, yeah. Either way it's not gonna matter much. Like, truthfully, 
It probably would have just got rid of it. Jeffrey's gone from mechanic to supervisor in about five minutes. <laughs> it didn't take that long. <laughs> How are you enjoying your time here, mate? Oh, I'm enjoying it. It's still smiling. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll be smiling all the way. <laughs> I'm smiling better today, though, because it ain't raining. I'll oh, admit yeah. that. Well, the sun was out early, and she's starting to roll back in now, but... I mean, yesterday it was so cloudy and dreary, so you didn't even get to take video yeah. for the countryside for your friends to see the way home. We'll do it on the way back, hopefully it's... Mullet. With a positive note, after this thing is running and idling and you can shut it off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've heard of guys using like a, a thick phone book like this. Yeah, and yeah. And over it and sucking them in. And sucking in, yeah. Yep. When I, like, even, and it's only been two years, but when I start my 671 again, I'll check the emergency flapper before I start yeah, it up. Yeah. I always pop the cover and make sure the rack's all yep, free, yep. you know. Different thing with these ones. What would Hank and Wiley are up to? <laughs> <laughs> <Hank and Wiley. laughs> They'd have had this going by now. Oh yeah. I'm running off oh, Ether I at least. <laughs> <laughs> what? It had been running on Ether by yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Three or four cans of that and Battery packs. Yeah. Did you ever see Lord Mux? He had the stickers, the Ether Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Ether Bunny. Yeah, it's a picture. It's like a rabbit with a candy. What'd you go and get there, Mick? Uh, a little, little blue one. <laughs> well, a small one, is it? Or? A small one, yeah. <laughs> Jeffrey's gone and found the Esky I don't too. Know. Is this the law test? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> Dave's having a quick one here too while he's just settling the nerves. <laughs> so are we nearly ready for takeoff or? Um yeah. <laughs> number number five. Yeah. Hey, Ella. Why have one dog when you can have twenty five? <laughs> <laughs> So what's actually going on here, mate? What is this thing? <sighs> the tractor. Yeah. Um, white uh, A4T 1600, which is a Minneapolis Moline. Um, they were made from about 1969 to about 1972 or three. Um, <clears throat> they originally came out with a 585 cubic inch uh, mini mow engine. Uh, and they did have a little bit of a problem with the bottom end and oil pressure. So yeah, quite quite a few of them had repowers or you know, don't have the original engine in them. So this is a an NHRS Cummins uh, supercharged Cummins 743 cubic inch small ball. Um, yeah, bit hard to know exactly what age the engine is, but it's older than the tractor. I mean, they went from from what I can understand through the probably late 50s through to the um, you know late 60s at the latest. So. Um, this one's got piston coolers on it, um, and it's got the supercharger as well. Uh, so I've been told that you know, they got to about as much as 320 horsepower. Um, pretty rare engine in, in Australia, this one. Um, with the orange paint, um, you know, it might have come out of a, an old bit of earth moving equipment or something like that. An old dump truck or something like that. It's got the, <coughs> it's got the industrial type manifold on it, the exhaust manifold. Uh, whereas all the truck ones had a drop pipe on that, had a rear. Everyone talks about the noise that those dumb manifolds used to make on these old Cummins. So is, is that different to what was in the Dodges and the old old yeah, it's eight thousand Fords and that? It's bigger. Yeah. So so this is um, yeah to look at. It's very similar to a eight fifty five fourteen liter, yep. but it's just a smaller ball. Um, so that accessory drives the same. Um, this has got a decompression lever on it. A lot of the early ones did, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, <coughs> um, yeah so um, I don't know. Look, obviously these these were the forerunner to the to the eight fifty five. I get, you know, I, I guess that's that's what be my assumption would be. Um, and then maybe they got referred to as a small ball later on once the eight fifty fives came yeah. out because if that was your flagship model. Yeah, you wouldn't be calling it a small ball. So maybe that's a nickname that's come along at a later date. I'm not sure. 
So anyway. Uh, so did it, did it bolt straight up or they made an adaption plate? Well, that, that wouldn't have fit the original transmission, would it? Yeah, so he's just made his own adapter plate back here. Yeah. Hasn't done a bad job of it. No, it looks, looks fairly factory. It's, it's... He's, painted, he's painted it all and he's probably given the tractor car to paint as well. Um, some of them were yellow, um, but this one actually started off as green. Um, from, you know, when you look in the, in the articulation point, the pivot of the tractor. Yep. So uh, they're all, all still the same tractor, but just you know, white and Minneapolis Moline and Oliver were all the one entity at the time. Um, yeah, so this actually started off life by the serial number as a 2655 Oliver. Right. And um, yeah, and, and apparently out here as well, it was made out of a couple of tractors. So that might explain the yellow paint on the front end of it. Yeah. So it's a bit hard to know, but um, a lot of dealers then change things around. And, um, yeah. So how come you're putting another pump on it? <coughs> what happened to the last one? For those who didn't see his videos. Uh, yeah, so I started it up initially, hadn't been running for 20 years or something like that. And, and that's the pump while he's talking. The on the ground there off it. Yeah, so the, uh, it initially bolted, so it started up and just took off and went to full noise and uh, had to choke the, choke the air, air intake to stop it. And anyway, that's so took the pump off and had a mate of mine look at it. And yeah, he said the metering valve was stuck in it, uh, which is common for something that it might be sitting around, it could have had a bit of moisture in the fuel. So we freed that up and we tried it again. And the same thing tried to happen, tr same thing happened. So there's something in that variable speed governor that's playing up uh, that we couldn't quite get to the bottom of. So we've just got this little bit later model pump off an NH250 um, just to see how it goes. Yep. So, yeah, I mean, just failing rebuilding that thing completely and opening up a can of worms in, in that regard, I suppose. Just got this other one here, we'll try it. And if it works, it works. And it works and it's a problem, is that, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, otherwise, <coughs> probably a little bit stumped as to why it would be wanting to get away. Uh, yeah, last time, we just could barely stop it. Yeah. So what we're going to do here is just try and crank it over and see what happens with this fuel screw. Yep. Just so if she off. comes out of that pipe, yeah, that, so all we'll, that fitting. Yeah, so we'll, we'll probably get a bit of fuel coming out of so we could probably hook that up, that's the return. <clears throat> probably get a little bit of fuel coming out of there because there's already fuel in the head. Um, filled that hose up there. The filter should have a bit of fuel in them. So hopefully we might be able to just get some get some um, fuel to come out of there and then once we adjust that screw we might get it to stop. We just want to try and make sure of that before we... And it's only in or out, isn't it? It's not an adjustment. But... Well... Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's just on a thread. Just overrides the solenoid, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, that's all the way in. That, that There's probably, you see, there's three turns or something. Oh, no, no, it's only about a turn, so. Um, it's just a valve on or off, I, I'd imagine. Yeah, and, and look, when you, when you look at what it's doing, it, it can't really be all that, it, you know, all that... It, complicated there. No. <clears throat> Theoretically, that, that just should stop the flow of fuel out of there. Yeah. Anyway. Tell me about your channel, mate, if they haven't seen it. What do you call yourself? Old Rigs Down Under. Um, yeah, so a little bit of tractor stuff, fair bit of truck stuff. Um, yeah, if you want to see a little bit of stuff about old Max and White and Oliver tractors, Minneapolis Marine tractors. I've got a little bit of the, a little bit of that stuff on there. So, um, yeah. You've got a fantastic lineup of cab over Max here, which we'll do another thing on after this, I guess. That'll be a separate show, but separate episode. You can run us through a few of them up there. Yeah, right. I'll give, give you the guide to tour. <laughs> and while we're talking about channels, what's yours called, Jeffrey? All American Iron. And where are you from, mate? Uh, Reeseville, Wisconsin, USA. A long ways away. <laughs> and you've flown all the way over here to I, say good day to us. Yes, I came here. I've always wanted to come to Australia, and uh, lo and behold, it happened. Yeah. I said, I'm 68 years old, no time like the present. We pick and, up. And uh, Steve was kind enough to invite me, and I said, like I said, no time like the present. And 
He said, are you enjoying yourself? Well, if I don't, it'll be my own fault. Yes. <laughs> I'm he's, having a ball. He's brought the rain with him. So yeah, it's I not, brought, there was nothing but rain and cold at home. It's not sunny Australia me. today, but we didn't vi record the trip down in the motor home because of the rain, but hopefully tomorrow it's yeah. sunny. And So subscribe and have a look at old American iron and old rigs down under. These two fellas, what's yours called, Mick? Drink beer. Oh, you always on my one. You don't yeah, need well, that. <laughs> Sponsored by Steve's down under. So should I be nervous with you, Dave, or not? What do you yeah, think, mate? Yeah, you can share the nervousness. You can't see me shaking because of the gimbal. But... <laughs> I'm shaking like a dog shit crazy, <laughs> Is that a compliment or an insult? I don't know, just... <laughs> Certainly is cold here today for an old engine like this. Look, if it's not in good condition, and the manifold heat is sitting on the bumper bar, so it's not going to do much. <laughs> so she's not going to fire off yet. It's just going to spill fuel out of that, isn't it? Well, that's what we reckon. <laughs> Next so it can't we're... run for long anyway. It's not. Yeah, well, what I had to do last time was Daddy, crack that fitting. I off. saw you, yeah. Smoke built near the other side of it. That block was a lot bigger, it sucked most of that in, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's right. So we had a fairly early night last night, I think it was about 4.30 this morning. And we've come good, haven't we, mate? We've... What is it now? 11.30 or something? Yeah, half past one. Half past one, is it? Well, half whatever past... it is. Too, Is it? Yeah. Time does fly, don't it, when you're enjoying yourself? <laughs> Must have slipped in. <laughs> so are we right for lift off or not? Yeah, we'll see. See what it wants to do. <clears throat> you work that screw out yet, or playing with it? Yeah, just shit myself. <laughs> He's just delaying the process here. <laughs> Even the dog's nervous, listen. So fuel coming out of there at that. That's what the screw in. That's what I thought. It ends to start, I'm sure. Right, and so you must have to... That's what I said before. I'm sure I used to wind them in to override them, yeah. It's not a 24 volt starter, is it? It's just lazy. Or is oh, it on I think 24? Just a bit lazy. Yeah. yeah. They, they were never a 24 volt system. No, I wouldn't think, but just if he's put one on it, you know. You got air in it? <clears throat> Sorry, mate. Yeah, got air coming out of it, has it? Yeah, so it's probably just sucked that. <clears throat> So we've got to the bottom of that that particular part of the issue anyway. You haven't got any spray fresh to save that starter, have you? She'd probably lock up on it spinning that slow. Yeah. <clears throat> My 
might just bloody get a filter strap and take that filter off and must just be sucking it dry. Um. <coughs> Get another battery and a set of leads and put on that starter and put on one, even put it back there or something. Just spin it up, spin it <coughs> up and hit anyway. Straight on, it would be better, wouldn't it? Just going through a different set. Snack out with bloody soot, is it? I'll better sit her over here somewhere. How oh. so glad you got up there, Steve. <laughs> it's, a, it's a high step. I only got short legs. Tell me when, mate. I'll, I'll just start one and I'll shove her on there. Save the starter a little bit. No, she might. Yeah, I mean, that's as fast as seven crank. That's that side of it's really good. <coughs> uh, but yeah, still nothing out of that. So we're not going to get any action out of it until we get fuel come down to the turn up. Still full of air. But she's getting something, it's getting up there. Yeah. The screw's in and you're the screws in. providing it's sucking it out of the tank, it's got to be pushing it through there. Yeah, I'll give it another go and just like so I'll keep an eye on that bloody return. Yep. <coughs> now, I mean, with these, I'll keep the decompression on a bit, so she's fucking not struggling, I don't know. Well, I suppose, because it, it's still spinning, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, that's probably better idea. Until it flows and then let it go. <laughs> um, shouldn't have to bloody move that throttle. No, ah, it? it should be on idle. Oh, it'd, be, it'd be flat out until it cranks and then, wouldn't it? Well, I think, yeah. The governor waits, so he shouldn't... <laughs> Right here to the start. Alrighty, I'll just hold that buddy decompression back and see if we can get some fuel out of the tank.
Don't turn it off. That's one bit that doesn't. Sucked itself dry yeah. before. Sucking it up, or it's not, yeah. it hasn't bled yet. I don't reckon it took me this long to bleed at the very first. No, time. no, I wouldn't. No. They never tend to do these. Oh, good to go. Yep. If it's sucking, it's got to be pushed it back out.
just leave it on there too and just see if it's better. I just wouldn't mind seeing fuel come out that return. Yeah. But maybe it won't, you know. It probably won't. You're probably right, it's probably just a K strain. That might I wonder if it'll just go there. Because it's the way that is it <clears throat> it's always gonna go out the easiest path, which is the big yeah. O's. Yeah. I just thought I had fuel out there last time, that's yeah, all. It probably did. Yeah, I, I don't know, it might, it might have been pumping more because it was wide open, I, I've got no idea. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's won't do me ticking much good, mate. It started before without spray, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the first the first time we, we yeah, but if but if it started after that without spray, then yeah. It's but it was a fair bit warmer though too. Yeah. So. Um, all right. I suppose we'll let the decompression lever go and see what it wants yeah, to do. Too, We're getting oil pressure on that gauge anyway, which is good. Yeah. So. Right? Yep. Oh, fuck this. I wonder if it's your end of my mate. Look clean up here. Right? No, I'm just fiddling with those wires, see if you'll... I don't know. I haven't touched any yet. sniff but it is I mean it's, it just might create that fucking initial bang initial bang yeah <clears throat> I mean it's, it's bloody you only need a drift to, just to yeah. get the if you want to give it a sniff I'll stand over and just give it a little yeah like it's I mean it's probably 15 degrees colder than when I um tried it before it smells fuely it wasn't there before it still seems to be spinning over okay like I didn't have obviously no, it was spinning better with the with the bell. Yeah. With it off. <clears throat> Hang on, just give it a little bit of a sniff. I like it's just, just not deep. Either that if you want get it spinning first, so yeah. in case he locks up. If you want, I'll hold the decompression so you know how much you want to give it a sniff. Oh, you, you just be 
Oh, well, once it's, once it's going anyway, yeah. I won't, won't have the deep Let it go, then drift it into it. Yeah. yeah. Just start like initially with the decal. Smoke though. Yeah. Did you just get a whiff of that? It's definitely <laughs> sucked it in. You can smell the ether burning. How's the heat on that starter? <coughs> Start with that decomp at the end of it. Yeah, when you're ready, mate. <laughs> Himself. A bit nervy about it. There's a lot of smoke for a fucking on idle, isn't there? It is. But it made a difference, so the throttle's working. I didn't touch the throttle. Oh, you didn't? No. It just went. Why? <laughs> what changed? There was no smoke before. Next minute, <laughs> he's wanting to jump over the road. <laughs> <laughs> and is that just the ether getting through to me? Oh, maybe. That's the mate, she's possessed. The Hornets haven't blocked that big pile off there, have they? <laughs> <laughs> she is possessed. <laughs> oh, give her another one. You ready to... I've got an in. Like I say, I saw the people started, buddy. So you just took your stop winding it and she stopped? And I, and I sort of started winding that screw out to get jittery, mate. Well, you're making us all nervous too, by the way. <laughs> See what it's no fun when it takes off. She's wanting to say hello, isn't it? But yeah, like I say, I, did, I didn't touch a throttle then, so that's witchcraft at its finest. Oh, it is. I'm just something being blocked with it. They were. That's the thing, though. There's, there's no way. Not like a GM where you can have a stuck injector no. that stuck, sticks the whole rack. Yeah. Like it's, they're all individual. Yeah. I don't know. If, I mean, they, mate, if they stick, they just won't work. They'll stick down or something. <coughs> she might have been on idle then, who knows? I mean, there's probably a fair bit saved up down there. Like a <laughs> bit of excess bloody shit, fuel and shit just sitting around. Yeah, no, they would be. Uh, she won't run off that now, only smoke. I mean, did it sort of sound a bit rough and knocky? Maybe it was just the ether. Who knows? Wouldn't that evaporate by now? Probably not. Do you reckon so? Yeah. Crowns would be probably full of fucking stuff where she's been squirting the last hour. When... Yeah, that's oh. right. Yeah, well, that, that's right. Look, there's, there's gonna, if, if in fact that it has been putting fuel in there, there's got to be a little bit of right. clearance thrown somewhere. That's right. Well, get ready to turn her on. That block's not exactly level either. Almost want a sheet of gasket paper under this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it. Pull the piece of gasket paper right in. Yeah, it will too. Yeah, that'd pull that right in. <laughs> <laughs> This means there's black smoke, eh?
Yeah, you want me to do it? <laughs> oh, you know how to shut her off. Yeah. That screw has to work, mate. It's got to it cuts the fuel. Yeah. Where did you do it? <laughs> That's overriding it. Yeah, leave it. it. Leave it out. Leave it out. Yeah. Then that silent will do the same thing. Yeah. Well, do you want to try it without that? Without doing that jump on over there, just see how it goes. Oh, we can. I'm just yeah, just helping the start of it if you want to. Yeah. Well, it's probably as good an opportunity to see if that's if it's actually going to yeah, start on its own. <clears throat> well, it's good to let them warm I'd, up and I'd cool down. Try it with the decompression lever and not hooking the battery up. Yeah. Yeah, we might just try that. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. The rest would be charging too, not that one, because they're all synced up in parallel, but the one I'm using is not part of the system, so if she's mm. got the trigger charge, that's topping them all back up. Yeah, yep. The one I was using may even be pulling it down by now, I don't know. <coughs>
Not that I've got much out of that bottom, but I don't think it's leaking there. It's just leaking off this O-ring here. It's starting to drip out of the blower drive too, off the timing cover. Not hard, just Where wet. It? Where's that, mate? Oh, the accessory drive running the blower there. It's just got a slight leak there, dripping onto the... Out of the timing cover. Like at the back there. Oh, is it? She started to drip onto the... Oh, it's coming straight out of that seal, is it? I just saw a couple of drips under the engine mount there. It's clean oil in it. Well, it must be just that seal. Who would have thought that'd be fucked after 60 years? <laughs> so 60 years old and right away it goes to hell. <laughs> Shit, they just don't make anything any good anywhere, do they? Oh, oh well, I'll try it without your assistance, Steve. <clears throat> if it wants to spin over. Smoke's even and gone. Did you well, have the screw wasn't in? There smoking. Wait, oh, yeah. I had that stop oh, screw. I was going to say, there's no smoke. She might be still turned off.
going to say that when you're near it. <laughs> I thought, oh no, they're hanging in there. Making the boat. Well, there you go. Yeah, she sounds good. Got coolant in it? Yep. Did you, do you ever watch Watch West Work? Sorry? Watch West Work? His channel? No. Nah. see him? He's a can't be that far from me. He's in Northern <coughs> Illinois. And I tell you when I come Well, there you go. There's a white plainsman. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a white plainsman. Supercharged Cummins. First start in... I don't know how many years it's up to watch Dave's generally will tell you that but the initial start I'm probably sure you'll say that but thanks again everyone for watching